Hello, welcome to the Whatever Show. I'm Alex Drake. I'm Dragon Pat. And today we're going to do the third season of Chuck. Yeah. Now, season three was kind of twisted because we already dealt with the with Fulcrum, mm-hmm. and now we get the ring. Yes. And the ring is headed by, he's up at the top. Right there. The ring, the ring also involves us meeting Daniel Shaw. Daniel Shaw is a CIA agent who then turns and jo- joins the ring knowing they're bad guys <laughs> because he wants to kill Sarah for killing his wife. All that shit's twisted. Yeah. You get a real neat. You got the ring. You've got Chuck being Chuck. You've got the CIA being the CIA. You get an appearance from Jill. You get an appearance from continued appearances by Lester and Jeff. Mm -hmm. Yes, we do get McKenna Melvin in in this season being introduced. McKenna Melvin plays Alex McHugh, who is the daughter of John Casey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's... Season 3 was okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, some of it was... I mean, the whole... Intercept 2.0 is just stupid. Yeah. Wow, you can now do martial arts. What the? That seems to be about the only thing he consistently gets to do, to download into his brain. Yeah, and the fact that now it's frying his brain. That, I think, was a good twist. I mm-hmm. liked that. Like, dude, you got way too much intercept in your head. It's frying you. I thought that was, that was a good twist. Mm-hmm. You got the dad continuing to make his little enigmatic episodes. We meet Sarah's father for the first time in two. He doesn't come back in yet. Never mind. Sarah's father, the con artist. A really good con artist. Uh, we meet Hannah in season three. Mm-hmm. Played by Kristen Carrick. Hannah is hot. Yeah. Uh, let's see. John Arquette, does he come back in yet? Not yet. I mean, the show... The show has such great guest appearances. Yeah. And they do really do well with them. I mean, Scott ba- Bakula plays... The, fa- the father, Orion. Who is the Orion Superstar spy? <laughs> Who I mean, built Scott the intersect? Bak- Scott Bakula is number one. He's he's like Chevy Chase. This is a man who has paid his dues. He's done such great shows in the past, and he comes in and he plays the most dingbat, wiped out, out out of the. He's a nut. Mm-hmm. He's paranoid. At- well, when you built a machine that can figure out anything. It fries people's brains. It's brain. I mean, it, it was good. It, yeah. Overall, again, season three, not as great as season one or two, but still pretty darn good. Yeah. I enjoyed season three. Mm-hmm. And now we know. They're saying for the head when it comes to spy people as well. Yeah, don't just throw them off a bridge. Mm-hmm. They come back. Don't shoot their chest either. Aim for the head. You know, all these people, you would have think that somewhere in that damn intersect, they would have learned the rules. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was like, uh, what was, oh, Resident Evil. Resident Evil. They don't know the rules. They keep shooting for the body. Tap. Double tap the head. And only the head. Any other place, you're just wasting bullets. So, now season three ends with the Bible being blown up. <laughs> yeah. Morgan. Thanks, did Morgan. It. <laughs> and, of course, Big Mike thinking that Jester. Jeff and Lester did it, and <laughs> although they thought about it, they didn't actually act on it, Ooh, which is surprising because I figured Anna Lowe would get in there because she knows somebody that would do it. Mm-hmm. 
two people that have threatened to blow up the block, block by more with people that they know. <laughs> Anna Wu, I don't think you can do it cheap. And Lester saying, yeah, I'll do it. Jeff saying, I should do it. Yeah. I mean, you when you watch these shows, one of the things that keeps coming to my mind is the reality is that Jeff and Lester are not like. I mean, what's their names? You've got them covered. Scott Krinsky is not a washed up drug addict, alcoholic. Not in real life. He's a normal dude. Mm -hmm. And yet he plays Jeff so well. And Vic Sahay, we've seen him in several other shows. Yeah. He plays amazing characters but he played Lester so well yeah <laughs> and Lester is just he's the creepier of the two no it's a contest <laughs> nothing and of course they every single member of the buy more people oh who's your boss Chuck yeah. even Big Mike would have been yeah Chuck's the boss I mean, that we found out, in, not in this episode, mm -hmm. this was done in season two and season one. Mm -hmm. who, who, how do you know what to do? Chuck, Chuck tells us. And Chuck, he's just simply the head of the nerd herd. Mm -hmm. You know, it was in season two that Chuck hit the skids after having quit the bar now. Mm -hmm. And Sarah walking out on him. Dude. Mm, no wonder you became down. It was season three where Sarah's mad at him and thinks he actually killed someone. Mm -hmm. She doesn't do well with that. She thinks he's becoming a spy. I think. But it's also in season three where the two of them basically take their. They take a long extended vacation. And never get out of the dock, out of their room. Now, granted, I've always wanted to travel by train and have a sleeping car. I always figured that would be cool. Yeah. And traveling by train in Europe is just amazing because you got so much you can see. Mm -hmm. But I do it here too. Wouldn't matter. Yeah. Other than the fact. It ain't cheap. Not by a long shot. And Chuck and Sarah basically shack up in the train for a while. And then they decide they're going to come back out of the train. And decide they're going to work together as spies and boyfriend and girlfriend. So we finally get the two of them solidly together. Mm -hmm. And that is, entails hilariousness. Because now they're together, they're moving forward, and they have to make sure the agent, and the agency has to make sure this is going to be a good couple. <laughs> this was. Yeah. It was interesting. I give it credit. Overall, again, season three, so far the worst of the three seasons, but not that. Yeah. And the bad part is, they killed Chuck's dad. Yeah. He was kind of... Now Chuck has promised Ellie that he would quit being a spy. <laughs> so we're going to have to see how that works out in season four. <laughs> Spoiler alert. He already is being the spy. He's listening to what his dad wanted him to do. Go to our old home and continue spy. my work. Alright, so let's go to season four. And we'll... Not on this episode, of course. That you'll have to tune into the next time mm -hmm. on the Whatever Show. I'm Dragon Pat. I'm Alex Drake. You know what to do. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. You know the deal. Mm -hmm. Come on, folks. Why do we got to keep telling you this? You yeah. know the routine. Every single YouTuber tells you. Hit it. Click it. Let's do this. Yeah. Either way, folks, thanks for joining us. And we'll see you next time on the Whatever yep. Show. Mm -hmm.